from SVG Cuts here and I'm super excited about my really cute ice cream birthday collection of projects here and we can start with the ice cream cone which obviously is super cute and it would be really fun to give just as a gift or to make a bunch of them for party favors and the top fits on the bottom nice and snug which is good you can put whatever kind of little goodies you want inside little candies and I had fun embossing the bottom part here with a diamond pattern. It's actually called Argyle by Cuddlebug, but I think any kind of checkered or diamond pattern will look like a cute little ice cream cone. And then I've got my cute little button up here to look like a cherry. So super cute, and you can make that on any mat size, which is cool too. So we've also got our cute little ice cream truck here, and even the back side is cute. It's got a little license plate and everything, so it's a lot of fun and I think no matter who you give it to, they're going to be like, that is really cute. So this is fun to do in pastel paper. The back opens up to put something inside. And I also think it would be really fun to make it look like maybe a camper or you can make it look like a, like a flower child love bus or something or like a hot dog truck. So any of those would be super cute. So we've also got our really big gift bag here, which is cool because it's large enough to fit a larger gift, obviously. And I gave it an ice cream parlor feel by making the handle kind of look like a chair and the checkers and the striped awning. I think it looks really ice creamy and cute. And the cool thing is how the lid lifts off and it's got a slit on the top, which these handles slide through and then you just open it up and put whatever inside. So that's fun and different, and it'll be fun to change it up and do it however you want. And then we've also got our two cute cards here to go with your gift. And this one's obviously really whimsical and cute. He looks like a little soda jerk or ice cream man or something. So that's going to be fun for someone who likes something real whimsical. And I think it's really cool if you're making one of these for someone to make a card to coordinate with coordinating paper. And it just makes it like a whole entire awesome gift for someone. So we've also got our more simple star card, which you can whip up real quick and just make it coordinate, make it cute. Gotta love it. So that is adorable. And this paper makes it easy to make it adorable because I love this paper. It's by October Afternoon and it's called Cakewalk. And I've only got a couple of sheets left here, but I just loved it for this because it's birthday, it's pastel, and it's pretty much perfect for the look that I was going for. So I got mine at two peas in a bucket.com. They might also have it at archivers, but any kind of cute pastel paper I think is going to be perfect for this. So let's take a look at how these three dimensional items go together. I've got all my pieces cut out, so let's check it out. So first let's take a look at our ice cream cone. And for the bottom part of the cone, we've got this one piece here. And then this part makes up the top of the cone. And then this piece is the bottom of your cone and then these little pieces there's six of them those are going to go on at the end to kind of add a curve so these little panels which go on the top make up this top part to make it look a little more curved and we've got one of these and this part goes on the top of your cone with this this part here and your cherry so first let's take a look at the cone so we'll set the other stuff aside here. And I've just got these two pieces. So first, 
we can go ahead and pre pre-fold all your scored areas so that yours looks like mine. And then as you can see here, right above this top, right above this large piece, the curve or the fold goes the other way. So let's just take that and fold that the opposite way, right above this large piece. And then once you do that, your piece will be all ready to glue together. So we've got this long tab here, which I'm going to put glue on, and then there's also this teeny tiny tab, which we don't need to worry about gluing. That's just going to go on the inside to just cover up the empty space, but we don't need to worry about gluing it. So go ahead and put glue on that long tab and then just line it up with its neighbor, making sure that the edge of the, the paper lines up with the fold as perfectly as possible. And it just takes one little thin line of glue on that long tab. And that's just the right amount so that it's not coming out the edges, but it's enough so that it can take hold. So go ahead and do that all the way down your shape. And all of these long tabs are identical, so just keep doing the same thing all the way down. And I'm almost at the end here. So just work your way down and make sure that that, that tiny tab up here is on the inside. So if you want to emboss this piece, it's pretty much too big to really fit in an embossing folder and it just doesn't want to fold as well after it's embossed. So in your in the extras folder for this project you can find little panels that fit on each of these and you can emboss those and then you can glue them on which is what I did here. So that's optional you can also just leave those off too. So as you guessed we're just going to put glue as you probably guessed just on these final tabs here at the end before we close up our cone. And that was pretty quick and pretty painless. So if you were going to make several of these for a birthday party as favors, it wouldn't really be that crazy. And it would be super cool. Okay, so our cone is closed up. Now all we're going to do is put glue on this bottom part here, all the way around. And you can take your time more than me and make yours more perfect. I just want you to get the idea. And then take your bottom piece and just put that right on the bottom. So next, what we're going to do for the cone is take these pieces, and there's six of them, and they are just going to get glued right here. So if you want to go ahead and pre-curve this bottom part a little bit. That kind of helps, but whatever. And then just put some glue on the top and on the bottom, or on the whole thing if you really want to, but top and bottom is fine. And just line that up flush with the top, and then press it down and hold it on the bottom too. And that just hides this crease and makes it look a little more round and cone-like. Okay, so let's move on to the top of our cone. So now we've got our large piece here which forms the top of the cone and there's also this little tiny piece. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pre-fold all of your scored areas except they all go, they all fold like this away from you except for the, each fold underneath this large panel here gets folded the other way towards you. And then also right above this very bottom panel, it also gets folded towards you. So go ahead and fold all of your pieces like that and then we can move on to gluing our tabs in place. So this tiny tab here gets ignored. You don't need to put glue on it. And we can just put glue on the two tabs on the top, sort of like we did before. And we can just do, put glue on two at a time, and then 
put them in place one at a time. And just do the same thing all the way down and make your way down your shape until you get to the end, at which point we'll move on to these bottom tabs down here. So I've gone ahead and finished around, except it's still open on the, the seam in the back. So next let's move on to these little tabs on the bottom. So just put a little thin line of glue and then hold it in place. And just work your way around doing the same thing all the way around your shape. Then when we get to the end, we're just going to close it up like before, like we did with our cone on the bottom. So I'm just working my way around, putting my glue on my tab and putting it in place. And like I said before, you can take a little more time and be more precise than me. Okay, so here we are at the end, and all we're going to do is put glue on each of these tabs. And then one at a time, I'm going to hold them in place while they dry. It's not too hard. This is probably the, the most challenging part of this project, but it's not hard if you just do them one at a time. And I want to make sure that this one has a nice hold before I move down to the next one so that nothing slides out of place. And just give it a good chance to, to dry. And work your way down. Mine's a little less than perfect, but you get the idea of what you're supposed to do. Okay, so now obviously we want to put our top on. So go ahead and put glue on these top tabs and put your little top piece on. Super easy, just pop it in. Okay, so for our, our little cherry, we want to take these two circular pieces and then our little top piece with the slit. And I'm going to glue the cherry together, but only inside the circle. I'm not going to put glue anywhere but inside the circle. And I'm going to put them together like this. And then I'm going to put this part through through the slit here and I'm going to put a dot of glue on each side kind of like it's a brad almost and I'm just going to open it up and hold it for a minute while it dries so you can leave your cherry plain but I think it's cute if you have some red buttons to put just to glue a button right on there. So next we have our little top panels and there are six of them. So you want to go out and crease them away from, crease them like this and then kind of give them a little bit of a curve to help you in your process here. So where you want to concentrate your glue is on the top, right above the crease, and at the bottom because those are the places where it'll be making contact. So put it right just below the, the top there and hold it while it dries and place it here and hold that while it dries and then on the bottom and hold that while it dries. Then you're just gonna work, work your way around and glue all six of them in place and then you're all done. Next let's take a look at our cute little ice cream truck and as far as pieces go we have this larger one and a smaller one which are obviously the truck here and we've got our back window and this is a liner piece which is going to go in at the end and then this is the bottom. We've also got our tires and there are 12 of these circles and what you're going to do 
to make four tires is glue three of them together until you have four groups of three. And this just makes them stronger. The more layers of paper there are, the, the thicker and stronger. Okay, and then we've got our little awning. And I'm, I'm not showing you all the other embellishments. You've got them cut out too, and you can put those on at the end. So you've also got some vellum cut out, which I, I didn't cut mine out because it's pretty straightforward. The first thing you're going to do is put your vellum on the inside of your pieces. So you've got four pieces of vellum. No, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four pieces of vellum. One goes on the inside here. And one goes on the inside here. One goes on the inside here. And one goes in the back on the inside. So once your vellum is in place, let's go ahead and put this tab here by putting some glue on it. And I've gone ahead and I've folded all of my scored areas already. So you can do that first too. And then glue this guy in place. Now we can see there's this, this funny looking tab up here above it that gets really skinny at the bottom. So just put some glue on that guy and glue that in place. And if you want to put on some of your, your panels and your trim and your embellishments first, not so much your not so much your buttons or anything, but if you want to put these panels on first while it's still flat, you can go ahead and do that first too. Or at the end is fine. So I've got an identical mirror image tab over here, which I'm going to also glue into place the same way. And like I always say, you can be more precise and take your time more than me to make yours better. And I didn't fold this guy over. So next what we're going to do is Put some glue on this tab. And put this guy in place. And do the same thing on the other side. And just hold that while it dries and do your best to line up the, the corner of the edge with the folded part there. Okay, so next let's put our back part in place by putting glue on all three of these tabs here on the top. Just a nice little thin even layer going all the way out to the corners and all the way out to the the crease, and then we're going to put this guy in place just one tab at a time. It's too hard to line them all up at once because they're kind of flopping all over the place. So just start with one, and once that has taken hold properly, then you can move on to the neighboring one and then finish it off there. So I'm lucky there's no there's no vellum in here for me so it's easier for me to reach through the windows but I also made a couple the same way that you're doing it so I know it's possible. Okay so next we are going to put glue on these guys and the only thing you want to make sure is that you don't get too glue happy because we do want it to be able to open up in the back. So if you if you start just gluing every single tab down, you're going to have a really cute truck, but you won't be able to open it. Okay. So these guys are in place and we are not going to glue 
these tabs down because we want it to be able to open and close. So finally, we need to put the bottom on by putting glue on all three of these tabs and putting our bottom in place. Kind of like we did before, we'll just do one at a time and make sure that it takes hold before we move on to the other pieces. So we'll just put one in place and I'm kind of getting glue all over myself. You might want to just put glue on one tab and put it in place, then put glue on the next one. Or this is also working. So either way, you get the idea of what goes where. So now our bottom is in place. And now I didn't cut out the panels that go on the side, but they help you see where the, where the tires go. So put your panels on and then you can see that the tires go just below those. So you'll just be gluing them right onto the side there. So finally, the only thing left is we want to cover up our, the rough edge of our vellum here. So just go ahead and glue this little guy here to finish it off. And then for the awning, it just gets folded over. You put glue on that small tab and you just glue that right on. So next for our large gift bag, I've got the top of the bag and two small sides and two longer sides and then two identical pieces here which are going to go on the top and in, on the inside. You'll see at the end. So first let's just form our lid. Super straightforward, super easy. And we're just going to take one of the two shorter sides and glue it to a longer side. And glue a shorter side to the longer side. Very easy to do. Really easy to whip one up. And if you use really cute paper, you don't even have to embellish it. You can just whip up a quick gift bag if you need one. Okay, and then we're going to close it up like this. And then obviously we're going to put the top on, which I will do because I want you to see how the bottom goes through the top at the end when everything's all done. Okay, so mine, mine's a little rushed, but you get the idea. So the top just goes on like this. And then these little panels, one goes like this, and the other one goes on the inside to finish it off and make it look nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottom part of the bag. We've got two pieces like this, two pieces like this, two like this, and one which is the bottom. So I've already gone ahead and glued half of it together like this. So I'll set that aside and I'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to take a larger side and a smaller side and those are going to go together, kind of like we did before with the lid. And I'm just lining up the scored folded side with the edge of the other side, real nice. And then I'm going to glue this guy to this other part that I kind of pre-assembled a little bit. And we'll just glue that right on and get it lined up and let it dry. So next we're going to take this guy and that's going to go on the inside of this larger piece. And that's the tab there. It's folded. So we just want to line that up with 
the top. And once it's lined up real nice, just push it down. Now we can close up our bag. So it's starting to take shape. We're just going to put glue on this tab. And put that in place. I'm going to flip it around, it'll be easier. So just get that lined up and I'm going to push down from the inside so we've got good glue coverage. And then you're just going to fold these bottom parts in and put glue on all four of these tabs and just place your bottom piece on. So then to put the lid on, we just want to bend these little handle pieces the up opposite way. And then obviously it just goes through the slit. It, it's kind of a little tricky the first time that you do it. But once you do it once, it kind of gets stuck in the paper's memory or something. And there you go. Super cute gift bag. So there you go, super fun ice cream birthday projects. I had a ton of fun putting them together, and I hope you do too. So if you make any of these, I would love to see pictures on our Facebook wall or in our forum. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time, and happy crafting. Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content with you in the middle. SVGcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.